and hello once again. Here we are on a lovely day. As you can see behind me, it's actually very nice. It's nice, clear, uh, puppy clouds. And uh, we're standing here in Morristown again with uh, our friend George Washington. And George never told a lie. And that's nice. So well, let's get right to it here. Today I want to talk about the foundation, uh, which would be the, uh, the basic shapes. I remember uh, mentioning in the last video that uh, we're working with basic shapes and how you want to... Okay, you got your triangle, square, and you have your uh, box. And so they say to practice these. These are the foundation. Uh, everything's made of these shapes, so you practice drawing these things and uh, shading them in in a certain way. And that's what I do, mainly. I warm up with the shapes and I do them throughout uh, the day. And it's, uh, I see them, I'm amazed how I keep seeing them show up. And everything that I do, it's, I, get, yeah, I do a little better because I, I realize something that just looks like a structure is actually made up of, you know, one of the three shapes. And so it becomes more familiar um, drawing things because they're not so, you know, it brings it to, instead of just looking at something that's new, you can see all the familiar things that it's made of. So uh, when I uh, first started doing these studies, looking at that, our wooded area, which I'm looking at for a year, our schematic, uh, it was all very green and busy. And so the little studies that I was doing, little sketches to try and pattern out what I was going to do, were also very busy, uh, for example. Now compare that to after the leaves have already fallen and now everything is just, I'm seeing a circle, a triangle framed in a square and it's much less busy and then the study became this simple, for example. So interesting so I uh, my own personal uh, thing that I like to practice is to kind of not so much blend the shapes but have them all be present in a single in a single space sort of so this is uh, my own uh, little practice thing I came up with and it should be interesting over time to see it uh, improve you know I'll keep doing it I'll show you every once in a while but uh, this is what I do mainly here And as you can see there, we have, of course, our circle in the square and the corners, uh, again, the bag falling, the corners are triangular, yet still curved at the bottom. So you make as many variations as you can. There's our flag. And practice the basics. The foundation is built on the basics and I've clearly seen that. And so next is the blending of shapes which I guess, I guess a beginning way to exercise that would be to have on the paper, you have a circle, but then you have a square, which is a different size, much larger, say, and then you have a triangle that's either much larger or smaller than everything else. So they're all different shapes, enough so that you have to, to try and, say, blend them together, put them together with lines, uh, it would be very, you know, exaggerated, very, very uh, obscure, um, and the idea is not to for the final shape that it might make, but to another discovery, to learn how, uh, just, I don't know yet, just to learn something about the blending of the shapes since everything is that. And I think that's where the great depth is. When you're also removing the lines especially, then you're blending the colors gently and gradually in bended connecting shapes. It's just, I think, real great depth here. And, you know, the uh, exploration continues. And this is the, uh, the one of the... Uh, new directions, circles, squares, and triangles. 
Shut down. 